Hey guys, Dave back here again. Um, the review I'm going to do right now is the newest addition to my collection, I guess you could say. And it is of the Alt Smoke Omega. This is my first big battery mod, I guess you could say. Um, <clears throat> but the service that I got from Alt Smoke, I just want to touch on that really quick, was absolutely incredible. Um, I'm from Akron, Ohio. And finding local vendors around here that actually want to give you the time of day is hard because there is only two of them. And I just found out that Alt Smoke was local, local as of a couple days ago. So I was talking online with Tyler and Rob. I guess they were going back and forth. I thought it was Tyler the whole time. But I was talking to them online. I was confused about which mod I wanted to get between the Silver Bullet, the Omega. I was looking at a few other websites for them and whatnot. Um, but they basically just said it has to be your preference but was describing to me the different finishes that came on the Omega how the silver bullet worked how the Omega switch worked how what batteries they took how you should and shouldn't use them and things like that um, so they're in New Philadelphia I went down there um, had placed the order for my Omega and atomizer and a couple of liquids from them I believe my batteries and chargers and stuff like that so I go down there and Rob's down there Tyler was down there um, Melanie, I believe was her name, uh, was also down there. I'm sorry if I screwed that up. Um, but I go down there. They had my order already ready, which was nice. I can do local pickup. I live about 40 minutes from them. Went down there to pick it up. Uh, he gave me a walk through the warehouse. They have a really, really nice setup that they're going to get going here in the next couple months. Um, I believe he said, uh, I'm not going to throw a date out there, but I think he wanted to say it was in January that he wanted to have everything done. Um, he's going to have a nice display up front, going to have a little hangout room in the back. Uh, said he wanted to have his Xboxes and stuff like that going. Um, but I go back and he set out a few juices, asked me what I like, set out a few of them for me to sample and things like that. Um, I had the package that they were surprised I didn't open right away. Um, but I did end up opening it, get the battery in there, got my atomizer on there that I would bought from them, loaded up some juice, started going, and it was absolutely amazing. I normally am an Ego user, 100%. And I thought they were all 3.7 volt devices, and they weren't. So I tested these out. They use the big honking pink 18650 Ultra Fire batteries that you can get from Alt Smoke. They're 8.95 each. Uh, you can get the charger. I believe it's about 14.95. Don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. Um, but this is one rock solid device. I'm gonna go ahead and take a hit off of this and see what we can get. Clouds and clouds. If anybody is thinking about getting a big battery, true 3.7 volt device, I highly, highly recommend you head over to Alt Smoke and check out their Omega. The finish on this one is the Silver Bane. And that was one of my big questions. I'm a big, big texture person, and the Egos, let me see if I can grab one here. This is the Tornado. They have the rubberized type finish on them, which I really, really like, and then you get into the Volcano ones that have the metal finish on them that I'm not that big of a fan of but this one the silver vein is nice just because it has a powder coated type black finish on them it's not ridged it's not anything like that but you can feel the specks in the paint um, they have silver arctic blue pink and chrome and black and then they have the silver vein I like the silver vein just because if you're if you get juice on your hands or your palms get sweaty or anything like that which I've said mine do call me weird sorry but they do you're not going to feel it as much. This is just going to feel like a normal normal device. You're not going to feel sticky or wet or that's what she said. I'm going in anything like that. But I also got an atomizer from him. It's just a standard 510 atomizer. has the wicks and things like that down in there. None of mine are debridged or de-wicked or anything like that. Um, they sell drip tips as well. But the Omega, what you're going to get with... The standard $100 Omega is just the Omega itself. You're not going to get atomizers, batteries, tips, liquid, nothing. However, it's a com it, it is just awesome. I can't say enough good things about it or the service I got from Alt Smoke. The batteries, I, if I let them charge overnight, I'm going to have to give them a little bit longer of a charge if I've used the same battery all day. Um, you can use two RCR-123A batteries cannot stress enough use protected batteries I haven't gotten the the three volt batteries to try to six volts yet 
Um, it's not recommended to stack them through alt smoke. I personally don't recommend it. I've heard horror stories about it. However, I will give it a try um, and see exactly how it works. Low resistance atomizers on true 3.7 volt batteries are absolutely amazing. I'll go find one of mine here in a second and see if I can't give you a demonstration. But I just I have to hit this again. clouds of vapor and I'm almost out of juice so I'm gonna go ahead and top this off but the service that I had gotten from alt smoke I did not expect it to be anywhere near that good and I only say that because of the other local vendor that I've dealt with I'm not gonna throw any names out there but being local is just amazing you can drive and pick the stuff up they had it ready for me within about 20 minutes and the nice thing is is I don't think Rob was actually at the shop um, he came down I don't know if it was to meet me or he had things to handle or whatnot but when you can get a guy that you can go in and sit down and talk with and can explain things to you and explain the do's and don'ts about what you just got and actually be talking to a face instead of just through emails online and the no replies and things like that it, it's just really, really nice. And the nice thing about it was is they didn't talk to me just about e-cigs or vaping or anything like that. Tyler's got a droid just like I do. He was going into the things about ins and outs of phones and whatnot like that. So hopefully, if you guys head over to Alt Smoke, get in touch with either one of them. They're great, great people. They know a whole lot about it. Um, get over and check out the Omega. This is my first big battery mod. Like I said, I'm going to be getting a silver bullet from them tomorrow. So I will more than likely be reviewing that tomorrow. But this is, I guess you could call this a first impression. I've only had this for about three days. But I have yet to have any issues with it. The only issue I had was when I didn't screw it down far enough. Um, which is another thing you can see. I'm going to go ahead and show this up here. The button on this one, you do, uh, if I could put it on camera, you don't have to put that much effort into it. I've seen people jam them down all the way. Yeah, it does work. But you barely have to put any effort into pushing this button down to get it to fire. Um, the seam where the battery goes on, you can see it, but you can't feel it. I don't know if it's just because I got the silver vein and it's puffy paint and stuff like that already as it is, but you can't even feel the seam. I was standing there for two or three minutes trying to unscrew it from here when I was actually in the shop, and Tyler had to show me how to unscrew the, the top of this to put the batteries in. But it also has this nice contour going up and down through here. Um, the sizes that I've seen these be through other review videos it looks absolutely huge so that's what kind of threw me away from it at first but when you put it next to a mega ego battery um, it is not that much bigger I want to say it's about maybe an eighth of an inch bigger um, it is substantially bigger in girth that's what she said that is substantially bigger in girth than the egos are but if you have an uh, ego battery you can hold it 35,000 different ways and things like that and it's never really going to feel that comfortable. The Omega really fits in your hand nice. I'm 5 foot 3 and have fairly small hands and this thing I can almost palm it completely. Um, but it's just it's really really nice feeling. It does have the ridges on the top that um, Scott from Vaporcast can say he created all he wants. Um, but it doesn't collect juice. It's not meant to collect juice. Um, but it does add a little nice ridge for you to be able to do push down on the button for it. So I'm running a little bit long on this video. Sorry about that. But I just can't say enough nice things about the Omega from Alt Smoke. So head over there. I'll try and put a link in the description. I'm still getting used to doing these videos. Please bear with me on these. I'm sorry if they're not up to other people's quality. So head over to altsmoke.com. Talk to Scott. Talk to Tyler. Talk to anybody you can get your voice out to over there. Um, if you're an Ohio local, it's worth the drive. Go up and check it out. They're going to have local meets and stuff like that here in the near future. So I'm sure I will see all of you up there. I know that I will be up there tomorrow on Monday spending my Christmas money that I shouldn't be spending. But I just I can't say enough good things about that company. So head over to their website, check it out, give them a call, talk to them online. See you guys next time.